Real Madrid top defender Antonio Rudiger extends a strong initiation for summer arrival Hendrik. As during training, Rudiger man-marked Hendrik the whole day, and while they came into collision in a tackle, the veteran yelled at the youngster to be more physical in duels. We are going to be discussing you detailly on that in this episode as we progress. And shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as key trio of Vinicius Junior, Ever Militao, and Rodrigo Goes are set to return to preseason in time to face Barcelona in the highly anticipated El Clasico. We are going to be discussing you detailly on that as well in this episode as we progress. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Hendrik is getting accustomed to the Real Madrid ways as he has begun training with the team after being presented officially last weekend. The young Brazilian phenom is understandably still unexperienced with the intensity and physicality of European football, especially considering that his development was largely in his hometown Brazil. As revealed by Marca, the youngster is being taught lessons in the same the hard way and the figure responsible for making him face the heat is none other than Antonio Rudiger. As revealed by the outlet, the German centre-back went up head-to-head -head with the team's latest arrival multiple times in Real Madrid recent training session. He did not, however, have any soft spot for the teenager and welcomed him with intense marking, strong challenges and even significant blows. The report in fact adds that he left the player with some pain after the session, although it was a physical training knock. Zuriga has defended against and given similar treatment to players including Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe and Harry Kane in the past. Hendrik, needless to say, is no exception. While himself ruthless on the young Brazilian, Rudiger was determined to ensure that his new teammate was prepared for the challenges that follow ahead. The veteran defender thus shouted at Hendrik to be stronger in duels during the training session. It is safe to say that the youngster now has a clear idea of what he is in for and Rudiger's harsh welcome is in his best interest, given the potential and his potentials, it is only a matter of time before Hendrik gives the defenders a taste of his magic as well. More updates on that will follow as the AC Milan game is lurking around the corner and according to recent report, Hendrik will be a starter in that clash. It is going to be his debut game in the Real Madrid colors. Owing to the absence of Kylian Mbappe, Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo and other attackers. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid are going to be expecting key trio from the Brazilian national team in the form of Ever Militao, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo for the preseason El Clasico clash in New York. Real Madrid begin their preseason on Thursday morning in the United States of America where they will lock on against AC Milan at 1 a.m. in the morning. The game will be the first of the three preseason friendlies scheduled in the United States, with the next two games planned against Barcelona and Chelsea respectively. 
Carlo Ancelotti currently has a semi-complete squad at his disposal with several internationals still missing from the artillery. The Brazilians, however, appear said to participate to some degree in the tour. Luka Modric, Adagulay and Thibaut Couture are some of the team's big names already training under Ancelotti's command. As revealed by journalist George Picon, Los Blancos will be boosted by the return of Vinicius Jr., Ever Militao and Rodrigo soon. The trio will land in Chicago later and will begin training on August 1st. All three players have been working hard to stay fit even through their vacations. They will indeed be far from completely match fit for the El Clasico, but Ancelotti hopes to provide them some minute in the iconic New York clash. Needless to say, the manager will keep a keen eye on their fitness and analyze their situation before taking the final call on their participation. Players including Kylian Mbappe, Federico Valverde, Aurelien Chouameni, Eduardo Camavinga, Jude Bellingham, and Dani Carvajal progressed deeply into the international tournament held last month this summer, with Carvajal notably winning the Euros with Spain. There are thus still on vacations and will not return to training. In the preseason, they will only join the training camp once the team fly back to Madrid next week. The manager is thus very close to having the complete squad at his disposal ahead of a crucial season. New signing Kylian Mbappe is poised to make his return to the team and his opening debut game will be an opportunity for him to win silverware as he will go head to head against Atalanta in the Super Cup final. As the Merengues won the Champions League last season with Atalanta winning the Europa League over an incredible Bayern Leverkusen. It is left to be seen how the Frenchman progresses in the Real Madrid lungs in a star studded squad. We will bring you more updates on that. And as well, more update on the arrival of the Brazilian trio and their training sessions. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have now come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.